Hey, 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 what's going on with my beautiful people today? Y-O-U. Yeah, you. <laughs> what's up, my people? My name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ride and dies, you know what's up. My new subscribers, you know what's up. My energy exchange, 10, 20, 100 fold, right back at you. What you sow on this channel, you shall reap. So, thank you, everybody, for all your support, your love, your, your emojis, all your comments and confirmations and compliments and just positive energy. Thank you so much. And I send it all the way back to you. All right. So, with that being said, on the flip side, Looking good, smelling good, like I should, right? <laughs> um, this is the highlight. Whoever you are, this is the highlight of your day, right? It's to see have any damage have been done. Uh, did, did it work yet? No. No, it didn't work. It's been transmuted, right? Okay. It's been transmuted. I am blessed. I am favored. I am adored. I am wanted. And that's not to toot my own horn. But if you would go ahead and acknowledge who you are in God, you would, have, you, you would be favored and adored too. But you don't want to. You rather stay stuck and stagnant and sick and mentally drained because you keep focusing on another individual instead of focusing on yourself. So, did it work? No. Can't stop. Won't stop. It ain't going to stop nothing up in here unless I want it to stop. No one controls me. I do. It is so, so, so be it. It is so, so be it. Ashe, so be. All right. I am honoring the signs of the collective. Bam! There it is, collective. All right. So today, guys, I was like... What cards am I going to use? What cards? What What do you want? God, what do you want? What do you, what, you know, you know, what do you want me to do? Clearly, today is no cards. Today, Spirit wants me to channel a message, right? Spirit wants to channel through me. He wants me to, um... I did, I wrote down a question, and we'll go from there. Okay, let me make sure I got everything on. <laughs> All right. Make sure everything good. Because <laughs> once spirit be going, I can't go back and get it, get the information, right? All right, so the question, and I hope y'all good with this, because this is something new. I heard it. It's like no cards. So for this particular reading... Um, that I put out, and then it will be a continuation. Like this one is out. It ain't gonna be at twelve thirty because I'm I'm late. So, um, doing my doing my lunch break. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so um, let's do it. But the, it'll be this one, and then the next reading. And I don't know if it, we're going to continue on the next, today and tomorrow. Because he gave me four readings to do, but I have no idea what he's talking about. What, it, what these four readings are with no cards. So, let's go. This one, he gave me, how do you focus on yourself without creating an environment without creating an environment where you are just existing. Okay, so 
when I wrote this down, this is coming from the information that I, uh, that I have been putting out. Because right now in this season, we're not to be looking at people, places, and things. We're not to be focused, looking, focused, um, giving any attention um, to anything but ourselves. Because the reason why Spirit is saying that is because right now, the opponent is trying different strategies, different things to try to attach, try to confuse, try to get you to um, to sign, to, uh, to allow, to open up a door for them to come back in. Right now, it's all been blocked. But if they can trick you again, or if they can get you to um, be confused and, for, and forget um you know who you are where you've been through what what you've been through what what um if they can get you to forget in time enough to get you to to make an oath to make a promise so they can come back in that's that's one of the strategies okay so just know and i understand that these strategies, everybody is talking about different things. But these strategies, these things that I'm telling you are things. And I, because I'm trying to figure out <laughs> why am I one of the, 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 why, why my name is on the list for one of, uh, for, for, you know, to be targeted. Why, why, I know I know who I am, and that's enough to be targeted. However, I I, I couldn't understand. I, I, I couldn't understand why my name got on the list, but I'm slowly but surely understanding that what God is wanting to do through me to get out there This is information that they're going to want to hold. They're going to want to be have control over. Because I'm going against, giving you this information is going against what it is that they want. If, I, if this was to get out to the collective, you know, that would, that would just ruin things. So, I understand that. I'm getting it. However, this question here is because of the things that we need to be focused on. And at this time, I think the Spirit is wanting me to speak deeper into um, what does it mean? What does it mean when I say focus on yourself? Because focusing on yourself could be just to somebody <sighs> sorry it's, it starts when when I get um, I have not yarn it starts but anyway um focusing on yourself for some people may just be oh I just need to stay at I just need to stay at home I don't need to be around nobody um let me just watch tv you know just long as I'm by myself that's focusing on myself to some degree, yes, but that's not what that's not what Spirit is saying when He says focus on yourself. He's not saying that is the way you focusing on yourself. You need to isolate yourself. Yes, for some, yeah, because of who you around um, under the circumstances of your environment, you you have to go that route. But for most of you. You don't. And that's not what spirit is talking about. Spirit is talking about focusing on yourself, meaning to um, do those hard. I'm talking what, what, what spirit is talking about now in this season. Focusing on yourself. That means for you, for those of you that's just flicking on the TV. And it's a disclaimer, right? I'm going to just tell you right now, this is about to be raw. This is about to be the truth. You know, a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. 
but this is what we need because at the end of the day what when whatever that's is getting ready to unfold whatever is getting ready to come whatever is getting ready to come down we need to know the truth and if you get yourself prepared get your mind prepared and and not looking you know at the news and having your emotions go all around you know you have control over what comes into your environment and what doesn't that's another thing of focusing on yourself but let's get back to it what i was getting ready to say those that's flicking on that tv and <laughs> those flicking on that tv and you know um know you are earth angel no you are um, supposed to be going for walks and getting out in nature. Now, I know that the weather is funky. One day it's cold. One day it's hot. You, it's unpredictable. I understand that. And I get it. But what about the days that it's not? Are you trying to make an effort? Are you trying to put a plan in, 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 in play to get you out where you need to be to balance things out for you, okay? Exercising, you know, get that, get on that exercise bike. Get your body moving, right? Watch, have a, a, a eye and a perspective on what it is. If you flick it on the TV, what are you watching? What are you putting in? To your spirit what are you eating are you eating fast food every day are you eating salads are you eating healthy and let me go a little further with that just because you eat a eat a salad doesn't mean that that's healthy you need to get we need to research right because some things is just not healthy for our for your blood type or for your for your body type. You can't eat what everybody else can eat. Something that this person can eat is not good for your system, good for your gut. It don't make you it don't it don't make it it it, don't, it doesn't make your body thrive. It makes your body uh bloat and, and, and gassy. You have to pay attention. This is all the things. And that's not, and that's just not it. But these are the things that spirit is saying by focusing on yourself. When you focus, truly focus on yourself, all of these things come up. You're able to see that what you're eating, that don't agree with me. It tastes so good. But that doesn't agree with me. Let me find out why some certain foods don't agree with me. Let me find out um, one of the one of the things what you know um, that I've been re researching. I knew it years ago, and I was on it years ago. But I'm going back to it. Is you know um, dieting, not dieting, but a diet for your blood type what foods agree with your blood type it makes total sense why and that would be why some people can eat because this blood type can eat this and agrees with them this blood type can eat this and agrees with them everybody is different so that's just i'm, I'm not that's just something i'm putting out there okay and it's, um, oh boy, it is, it's this right here. But if I wasn't focused on myself, if I wasn't doing the research and trying to figure out about my body, if I wasn't trying to figure out about, about my health and why I have the health problems, I'm just saying, oh, it's, 
The reason why I got this is because my mama got it. The reason I got this because my grandmama got it. But I'm going deeper than that. I'm going spiritually within to figure out what actually is going on with my health. What actually is going on with me. That's part of focusing on myself. That is what God is talking about. Going deeper. Getting a deeper understanding about you. How are you made up? Not because of your, your genes. Put that aside. Because a lot of the things that were that we have is because... It was passed on because of the things that we were eating or it was a, passed on because of our environment or it was passed on because of that. But if we start to eat right according to our body, according to our blood type, or you don't even got to do the blood type, but according to who we are, then that changes that. But... If you're just focused on being isolated and if you just focus on being by yourself and you think that that's what God means when God says focus on yourself, then you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. That is not what he's saying. A lot of times when you, when you are isolated, like that you are just existing you're just waiting for things to happen but you're not doing you're not preparing you're not putting things in play for when things happen that you will be a better version of yourself you're not putting it things in play that's gonna help you in the future all you're doing is being by yourself being by yourself is good and all, but when you be by yourself, what are you doing? What are you doing to impact your future? What are you doing to become, to go deeper, to go deeper into finding out deeper who you are on a personal level? See, spiritually, we got a great understanding if you're on this page you're intuitive you're a psychic you something you're a spiritualist you something you got some type of understanding so but on a personal level that may be a challenge you may have not tapped into personally like um, you have may have put some of these things to the wayside, like exercising, going for a walk, um, going deeper into uh, what to eat and what not to eat. What do you need to stay away from? What just does not sit well with your gut? It caused a lot of bloating. It ca caused a lot of water retention. It just, just not does well. These are things, you know, going for a ride just to get out and get sunshine. So when spirit is saying, see, because that answers the question of just not existing because when you're existing you just you just live in life you just live in life waiting for whatever to happen to happen you're just going day to day to day the same thing um you're not making any changes you're not making any major changes you know to make things better it's just the same process you're just letting it go and your main thing and your main focus is that you're not around a lot of people places and things that's projecting negativity that's trying to uh hurt you and trying to try you and trying to do things to you so you figure if you just you know, isolate yourself or you just stay to yourself and 
stay to yourself, which means focus on yourself in your mind, that it will, um, it will take away or will minimize a lot of the attacks. <sighs> Let me just say this. You are not going to stop these people from attacking you. Whoever you are, you're not. They not going to stop. However, in the meantime, and because they're not going to stop, you think that you just it's okay to just sit around and exist? That's not what you came down here to do. You didn't come down here to be fearful. You didn't come down here to be scared. You didn't come down here to be um, just in isolation. I keep telling y'all that. And then you get in the comments and you say, oh, okay, well, I don't want to do this. You know, I don't want, you know, uh, I don't want to get out. You know, it's safer. But it's not safer. You're still getting the same attacks. It doesn't matter where you go or what you do. You are always going to get attacked. However, will the attack hit? Will it immediately bounce off of you? Will you transmute it? It's the answer. The answer is not to focus yourself on being behind closed doors and being away from everybody no you have to get out you if you, if you don't have if you don't go out to concerts and stuff like that i get it but at least go for a walk if you don't want to go for a walk and you can't go for a walk go for a drive if you ain't got no gas for uh uh for uh for putting up gas in the car uh you know Find a way to do something that will connect you to nature, will connect you. Because a lot of you, a lot of us are connected to nature. And when you are isolating yourself day after day, week after week, and you're not connecting to your actual source... You're, de you're depriving yourself of the balance. You're depriving yourself of the grounding. You're depriving yourself of the nutrients that you need. The sun, the, 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 you know, the air that you need to, to you know, you're just depriving yourself. You know, and this is not, and it's going against what God is actually saying to you about you focusing on yourself. Because focusing on yourself is not isolation. Focusing on yourself is digging down deep in those areas that you do not want to deal with. And getting some things straight about your personal life. See, we talk about the spiritual life, right? Spirituality, the spiritual things of life. But what about you as a personal as a personal individual? What about your personal um your personal life? What about the you personally? You physically? What about what's going on with you that physically? That's being neglected. And it's been it's being misused. And in and, and, and your mind is, is being confused with isolation. But that's not what spirit is saying. So I, I'm saying this because spirit wants to correct that. Want that to be put out there. That that is not what he's saying. He is not saying for you to isolate. He's saying for you to take care of your physical take your physical your physical self so it's aligned with your spiritual self go deeper find out about you personally your personal 
um, self. Because your personal self is out of alignment with your spiritual self. They need to be in, in alignment. That's, that's what spirit is saying here. Anything other than that, you're existing. You're just waiting. You're just waiting for what to happen. You're, you're being uh, reactive instead of proactive. You're, you're, you're not being proactive as to setting things intact and getting things together and preparing for what's to come. You're being proactive. Getting your mind right, getting your body right, getting your your um spiritual your spiritual aura right. Get everything right. Get everything cleansed. Get your chakras online. Get everything together. Everybody's different, and everybody's on different levels, and everybody dealing with different devils. So, you that's why you have to. Go within and deal with your own personal issues. God is saying focus on yourself because personally, your personal issues, your personal dilemmas, your personal things that you keep putting out on the back burner, your, your, your addictions, your vices, things that... You need to let go of. Those are personal issues. Not spiritual issues. Personally. You need to deal with yourself pers on a personal level. Dig deep. Write all your things down. And get to work. And I'm going to leave it there. Alright. This may not be a feely, feely good uh, message. But it's much needed. It's clarification. Because let me tell you something. What's coming? We ain't got time. We ain't got time to be pumping and prying and filling people with feel-good messages. Because at the end of the day, we behind. We are behind. We got to get to work. Because if we want to live, keep. If you don't, if you don't want to live, keep existing. But if you want to live, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Right? Matter of fact, I don't know if you can do that or not. Can you do that? I don't think so. But I was going to say, matter of fact, put some um, pictures in the comments. Let me see you walking. Let me see you getting to work. Let me see you getting it in. But I don't think you can put pictures on here in the comments. So I don't know. Maybe I may write a thread. Um, a post, and you can maybe put pictures in the posts um, of that. But we need to be getting it in. Me included. Right? Maybe um, I post a picture um, maybe this weekend or next week. I post a picture let you know what I'm doing. Right? I post a picture. Okay? So it, with that being said... <laughs> So, you know, I'll post a picture for encouragement and motivation, right? Okay. So, anyway, we're going to leave it there. Hit the comments. Hit the emojis. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Just thumbs the channel. Guys, I love you guys. You know, um, the opponent wants me to quit. I'll be talking to God and I'm talking to God. I was like, God, I can't quit. I cannot quit because if I quit, then I'll leave them out red, out cold turkey. And I just can't do that. I can't quit. You know, so I'm here, guys. They want me to quit and they put pressure and they, um, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, Taking the comments, taking away comments, and um, deleting my subscribers, and you know, all of that is it's not what makes you quit, it makes you it's an energy exchange. So, I'm pouring my energy into some into a tool that does not, does not respect me, is what it is. 
It's a tool that does not respect who I am. It's totally disrespecting me because it's lying about my numbers. It's taking things away, you know, taking comments away and different things like that. Trying to hide. But this gift is not my gift. It's, 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 it's God's. Um, the only thing and only requirement that I asked is that he give me the energy to do it. So then they try to take my energy, right? It's, it's an on continuous thing. So this is why I'm telling you guys, you got to get to work because so many people are making sacrifices for you, for you to get the information, for you to, to, to get the tools that you need. So when you get the tools, do something with it. Make an impact in your own life. Don't let what's being given to you go in vain. Do something with it, right? So share, 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 subscribe. Hey, if you have not subscribed, you need to subscribe because God is really, really doing something different um, with me, with the channel, everything. So I, it will behoove you to subscribe, to be to go to to come along with us on this journey because he's definitely preparing us for something. I get so many downloads, but <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> so when it comes down, I'm going to give you what you need because it's a lot. It's a lot happening. It's a lot changing, but you got to you be aware of it. You got to tune in to who's going to give you the truth. Who's going to give you the tools that you need that when you, um, when whatever happened, you're prepared. You're not around scrambling. You're not around confused. You're not around. You are centered, grounded, and you are available to, and you have what you need to handle whatever it comes, whatever happens. And that's right here. That's this channel right here. It's other channels, but I only could speak for me. So subscribe. The description box have all the information about the channel. Um, I'm not doing any personal readings right now. Um, if you want to uh, send um, a donation, it's in the description box. If you want to send a deck, it's in the description box. If you want to go to any of the social medias, in the description box. So with all of that being said, hit the notification bell so you can always know what's up with the channel. If I go live, what's what, you know, what's what, you would know. All right? So I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. Yes, I am. And Trinity is out.